This is Heavy Conversation with Bruce and Jody, a podcast where we talk about being a big guy in today's world. I'm Bruce. And I'm Jody. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Jody. Hey, Bruce. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks good. for asking. How are you? I am wonderful. And I'm very excited to talk about what we're going to converse about today. Yes. So uh, there are uh, there are a decent amount of people that reach out um, or that I meet that are curious about how I started Chubster or how mm-hmm. I not just how I started it but how I got it to where it's at. Yeah. How do you do that? How yeah. Do you, people are always like, "Oh my god, you, right? You do that? Like you 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 have a podcast? You have your own company? You're doing it?" And I'm like, "Right. Well, yeah." And it just seems so like. Yeah, this is what I, I'm like, it's no big deal to me kind of when I, cause it is my life. I sure. live it every day. So it's not, it, it doesn't seem so foreign. Right. Like that you have a million things going on all the time. Like, yeah. And when you step back, if, if you stop and, and step back yeah. and take a look at it, it's like, oh, you it's know, like, yeah, or it is you, kind of amazing. Like we started our own company and right. we're living this glamorous life of <laughs> small business owners and right. you know like yep. it is kind of cool it is and you know and not a lot of people either know what they what or like they might have an idea but they're not sure how to get it you know like sure. people are always doing that with me too they're like well how did you know and how did right. you even do that and yeah yeah so Maybe I, I want to give the the first secret here oh, at least what I've found for give myself it away? I know I know we should charge for this. Uh-oh. Um, I think that a lot of the... Like, to listen to the next five <laughs> minutes, please deposit. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I think uh, the, the, ba- the, big, uh, the big secret is not to overthink it sometimes and just go for it. Mm-hmm. You, right. ju- you kind of just have to jump off and take and a just risk. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Like that is basically how it was for us too. Totally. Like it was like, oh, well maybe. And then it's like, well, yeah. let's just see what it's about and then go from there. And yeah. And just give it a try. Yeah. You know, for, for me, it was, it was, it, and I think for most people who have a thing they want to do, it's a lot of work and continuing to do the work and, mm-hmm. um, if, with for me it was it was I knew that I needed to start creating something yeah and I knew I had a general outline for what I wanted to do I knew that I kind of wanted to make like I wanted to make a, a content website an online magazine for this subject matter that was yeah. interesting interesting to me so I started just writing things and writing you know tips and guides and sharing observations and putting up photos of, mm-hmm. of looks. And I continued to do that over and over and over. Yeah, it is. It is really about, you have to put in the work. Oh, without, without a doubt. You can't just can't phone it in. Yeah. You can't just like put, you know, like put together a website and then just expect it to just right grow on its own. Like you have to be constantly posting or writing or whatever the thing is that you're doing, you have to be doing it all the time, basically. Maybe we should even step back. And I guess for me, when people kind of ask that question, it's almost like, you know, how, how did you, uh, uh, you know, you've created this amazing thing. How do you, how did you get here? I didn't start out as a, you know, I don't know, yeah. a 16 year old saying, I want to start a website for fat guys. Yeah. I wasn't know? a, entre- you know, right. an underwear, entre- <laughs> you know, that wasn't sure. what I when you grow up, what do you want to be? I want to make underwear for big guys. Right. You know, like that wasn't where I am now. Isn't where I wasn't the, maybe the goal, but it, it developed along the way. Totally. It was like, I, I want to be helping people Mm -hmm. in, you know, making them feel better about themselves or, you know, like I did a lot of like sexual health stuff and it was like helping people, right. you know, and, and it just sort of morphed into different things. And, mm-hmm. and this is what came out of that, you know, like, right. It's a very weird transition to where it is, but yeah, it was a lot of trial and error. Like, Oh, maybe it's, oops, sorry. Maybe it's a little bit over here. It evolved over time. Yeah. Or yeah. maybe I'll go over here and try, you know, right. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of trial and error and it evolves and it changes and it maybe is not at all what you originally started out with. But if you keep the 
the why behind your what, or if you know the why behind your what, that's sure. a big thing that I've been reading about and, you know, finding your passion. But why are you doing this? When I, when I first started, the first time that I thought about a legitimate career or a thing that I wanted to do that I was passionate about or could be passionate about, mm-hmm. uh, it was radio. I wanted to be on the radio. I wanted to be on air. And uh, that was really interesting mm-hmm. to me. And it was compelling uh, in so many different ways. And I wanted to do that for years and years. And I ended up doing that. Um, as I got a little older, you know, like late teens, uh, early 20s, I uh, I wanted to be David Letterman. Oh. I wanted to do that kind of that kind of thing. Late night. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just loved the idea of that. And the uh, the weird humor and just being out there in that way and how how freeing all of that felt mm-hmm. to me. Um, I always loved independent magazines. I loved these things that people were creating because they weren't waiting for permission to create yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. And I I mean, even then, I mean, I didn't start Chumpster until I was 30. So, yeah. you know, it was but it was something I was thinking about years before that. Um, but all of those things kind of came together and I realized now looking at what I do that I take bits and pieces of each of those things. I mean, we're doing a podcast, right. which yes, everybody's it's, doing podcasts, but I don't think I would want, would have wanted to do this if I didn't love radio mm-hmm. and everything that came out of that. Yeah, it, yeah. All that experience right. helps what we're doing today and what we're doing. Yeah. Right. All those other weird jobs that you try and do and life totally. experiences that you have, I think you got to just experience life to find your passion and find out where that's going to take you and what, how that is going to evolve. And, you know, I also had a bunch of like failed blogs that were all just like the personal, you know, when blogs first came up and it was like, you can blog and you can write about things and people will read them. Mm -hmm. No, they will not read them because they don't care about your day to day (laughs) crap. They don't care about your MySpace page, but it was a brand new world at the time. All your things. People, you didn't know that then. So, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I, I had a few different, I had a few different blogs that were, that covered but, but they're not different even, but periods they're not of my life. No, no, because they're, you they're learned. Not. They're not, but it's it's such and it's funny how those. that evolves. And yeah. you started in this place where it's like you're you're writing about whatever comes to mind, whatever yeah. random horribleness, mm-hmm. you know, it, it comes out. And it's funny because I I know a few years ago I, I went back and I found a couple of those oh, yeah. and I was like, ooh. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. But it's funny to see that. Your progression. The progression. Yeah. The as evolution. long as you're making improvements. Yeah. And you're learning and trying to be better. That's all that, you know, that's totally. all that anyone can ask for. And you, st- you start to really whittle it down. And I think, I think the, the, what I would take away from that for anyone who's kind of trying to figure out their way is to try a lot of things mm-hmm. because uh, there are so many other things that I'm not even thinking of now that got me. To the point that yeah. I'm at. You have to get out of your comfort zone. Right. You're like, if you have a a, a a talent or you have you're, think something is really cool, you're passionate about something, do that thing. It mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily have to be supporting you day one. Right. Like, Bearskin wasn't supporting Bjorn and I when we first launched. We worked jobs, you know. Sure. For a while. Yeah. But... You got to give it a shot. Totally. Like, I mean, you might as well try it and see what happens and let it grow and, you know, nurture it and see what happens, see where it goes. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, another thing that always stops people, it stops a lot of people is uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing is going to be perfect. No, Everything that no. you try to do, there's going to be something that isn't that isn't exactly what you want it to be. That's what life is. Yeah. And as much as I love what I do now, there are certainly parts of that where I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Nothing I do is perfect. Right. I don't, I'm not trying for perfection. Right. I'm trying for good enough that I can, you know, get by today and then I can try to do better tomorrow. Don't stress if you fail. That's the other no, thing. No, it's is, not a failure. No. It, Nothing it, you do is going to be a failure. It's not. Everything to... is a learning experience. And mm-hmm. if you 
if you, as long as you try something, you're going to learn from you that. You tried it. That's yeah. not a failure. I, you, you also have to be open in that way. You can't think about things as failures. If something doesn't work out the way that you want it to and you get an unexpected result, you need to be able to pivot. You mm-hmm. need to be able to take that and go, okay, this didn't work this the way. The way I did it this way didn't work. Let's try it this what way. What else can I do? It, yeah. yeah, right. So that's important. That's huge. Mm-hmm. And that is a big piece of yeah, fear, why people fear are... Fear of failure, yeah. yeah. That's why some people are successful and some people aren't yeah. at a lot of things they want to try and do. Mm-hmm. Beer? I Yes, I definitely want to try this beer. Yes. It will not be a failure. All right. No, no beer. Well, I would say our no beer is a failure. No. They're not a failure. Our, our just beers like really are. Again. Yeah. Uh, what is this? This is called All Time Goat. All Time Goat. Double IPA from Noble Ale Works. Is that a goat with a basketball? Oh, it is. Yeah. No, no. that's not a basketball. That's a, what is it, a trophy? Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, it's a basketball goat with a trophy. It's going to slam dunk the I, I trophy. No, I don't understand what's going on. So it's a goat, like greatest of all time, right? Uh, yeah. Wow. I'm real all slow. All time greatest of all time. Double IPA. Oh. Yeah. So oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Double IPA. I like this. Ooh, we're, not play, we're not playing around tonight. It's all about the goat. It is. And This is good. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm almost no. always in the mood to have, to drink, you know, to drink our beers when we do when we do our show but um, tonight I'm really feeling it so this is this is These great are, I'm, it's kind of fr- foamy today I don't yeah. know what I did but yep. let me pull up the uh, untapped descriptors of yeah this. what's the uh, what is the percentage on I this I don't know beast? I'm sorry I'm slow today all time goat hmm. noble ale works there we go so it is a 9% ooh yeah microbrewery in Anaheim California nine our latest Northeast style double IPA is on fire. Ooh, careful. Yes. Comp- compromised. Comprised of Galaxy, Nielsen, Citra, and Simcone? Simco. All- Simco, sorry. All time G O A T is worthy of all the awards. At 9%, this juicy power forward Euro. Wow, there's a lot of this. Uh, Suffice to say, it is a uh, powerful, rich beer. Yeah. No, it's a papaya, mango, orm, creamsicle. Oh, yeah. I definitely get the creamsicle, and I definitely get the mango. And and the the strong. (laughs) He's walking around. Sorry, passing out beer. Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, and even the great somebody couldn't have guarded this future Hall of Famer. Do you like that? Oh, that, that... Cheers from over there. Yes. I haven't tried it yet. Sorry. Yeah, this is good. Oh, oh. yeah. I that is. I thought it was. Oh, there it is. There's a little It's more. rich, smooth, flavorful. I love that creamsicle. I like that creamy. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that creamsicle kind of. That's surprising because sometimes it's easy for that to go wrong mm-hmm. in a beer. And I have certainly had. Uh, beers where it has gone wrong. This is good. They, it feels like they really got it right. Mm-hmm. Where is this from? Uh, Anaheim, California. Anaheim. Noble okay. Ale Works. Nice. All time G O A T. Nice. Goat. <clears throat> I like that. It's this double A is on fire. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Mm-hmm. Boom shaka laka. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So um, back to back to the subject at hand. Something else that I would say is really important is um, if you're trying to get started in a specific area, look for inspiration. Look for community. Find people who do the thing that you want to do, or yeah, and reach that are, out that are somewhat in that that sphere. If they're in that kind of area, then you know it it can only help you to get into the community, you know, mm-hmm. whatever that community is. And, uh, you learn from people, you, yeah, go, you get go to some of those, um, meetups for different things. Like there are so many weird different meetup groups and like, go talk about meet people that like to do the same thing you like to do. And yeah, excuse me, get some ideas or totally go to some small business group meetings and Right. I don't know. Like we did a lot of that kind of stuff, just trying to figure out how do people start businesses and, you know, how do you stay motivated? And like, 
But it, it is a lot of like trial and error and learning as you go and like evolving and changing. And you just got to, sometimes you just got to take a risk and jump and get outside your comfort zone and be okay with that. Be totally. okay with stumbling and learning and you got to follow things along. And if you start small, like that's the other thing is uh, for both of us with what we're doing, it's not like it was an overnight success that was mm -mm. suddenly you paying the bills. It's like, I mean, I'm coming up on 10 years. Yeah. So, you know, it's not something that, that just automatically yeah. takes off. And most things don't work that way. No. So, yeah, I mean, we've made it you know, past those first initial years and right. But it's not, it, it's not like it gets easier. No, you still have to, if you're not, if you don't push in it, you aren't getting paid. Yeah. You've got to hustle. You got to work. You can't, it's, it is sometimes it's easy to have, have a success and just be like, yes, I've made it. Yeah. And just feel like that's, that's where you stop yeah, and you, you can't do that. No stopping. Celebrate no. the wins. Absolutely. But you got to keep Keep right. pushing, yeah. Yeah, and don't be afraid to ask questions and to share yourself with other people to, you know, when you get into those communities and you talk to people, uh, you know, it, you give as good as you get is mm -hmm. basically the idea here. And if you're able to do that, you'll get things back and it helps you build um, relationships and it helps you get further along and figure out where you want to go. And really, those kind of things are super important. So don't don't go it on your own. If you don't have to. Yeah. I mean, you, there's always support out there. Like he said, like reaching out to other people. Yeah. But sometimes you do have to, I mean, I'm going to kind of say the opposite. Sometimes you do have to go your own. You can't rely on other people all the time. So. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's about, it's about the, the lack of fear. It really mm -hmm. comes back to that, to not being afraid to try things and, and, it's very easy to put something off. If you don't want to mm -hmm. do it, if you're afraid of failure, if but you're, you're afraid something's not going to work. You know? What it could have been if you don't try. Right. So like you're going to be like, oh, well, I had this really great idea or somebody else might do it if you don't do it. Like, so I guess, yeah, I guess as far as like not going it alone, it's it's more just knowing that you, there are people that you can talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and... and I, and I think for me, a lot of a lot of it is that I I need to be in the right mindset sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like I I have to I have to really if I'm feeling it, if I'm inspired, I go with it. And, and I find that when my inspiration hits, is not usually working hours. No. You know, or uh, you if I you can't uh, I've you can't force with, it. Yeah, you can't force your creativity. Yeah. You, it comes at weird times, and you Which just got to go with it. Or... Very difficult when you're trying to make money <laughs> off of your creativity, <laughs> yeah. and you have deadlines. Yeah, and then yeah. yeah, you put pressure, and then that makes it worse. And I do my best work. Um, which I guess actually working hours, I do my best work from like 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. and then like overnight. Mm -hmm. So um, overnight is not an option for me right now. Right. It probably won't be an option for me for another 15 years. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's uh, with, with my kids, that's definitely not happening. But uh, the afternoon thing, I try and fail, but I try to mm -hmm. have two to seven kind of be that time when I can just hit it because I'll get up in the morning sometimes and try to get stuff done and I'm just like there and it's nothing's happening. Yeah. And, and then you just start spiraling and right. getting frustrated. and Yeah. And, and you have to be okay with that. You mm -hmm. have to be okay with it not always well, find, working. Yeah, you find something else. Sorry, you find something else to do in that time when maybe those creative juices aren't flowing, and right. you do some of the monotonous tasks that totally. you have to do as a oh man, and that's part of that, that is part of the business. There is monotonous <laughs> like tasks, those things that I don't yeah. want to do. Well, let's do that now and get that out of the way, right? And then from two to seven, when I'm more awake, yeah. and when you're got, firing on all cylinders, you take it, you run with it, yeah. you get it done, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. just no matter what, you got to keep doing it and i take it back i did stay up late last night and uh write and i was just feeling it you've got to if you can if you can follow that and you're able to just kind of go with it and that's the other thing is i understand that if uh, you know there was one point where i had basically two other jobs mm -hmm. i had a full-time job i was consulting and i was doing chubster and i was working like all <laughs> What was that? I don't know. That? <laughs> I don't know. There's a weird noise coming from. Oh, over there. it might have been the it might have been the the home pod over on the other side of the room. <laughs> There's a that weird was, noise. That was kind of frightening. <laughs> no. Oh, 
voices it's from the other side of the room. <laughs> My oh God, what's happening out here? Yeah. Sorry, everyone. That was that, really creepy. That kind of, yeah, where, where was I? Uh, it's like a, it sounded like a parrot. I know it did. It did. It was like the parrot from hell. I don't know. It's like is that your new ringtone? What was wow. that? Sorry. Wow. Um, yeah. So I mean, I was working, you know, eighteen, nineteen, twenty hours a yeah, day. We were working both yeah. working full time jobs and then doing bear skin on top of that. You and, know, yeah, and I'm not I'm not saying that as like a badge of honor no. because ultimately you don't want to do that. It's not good for you, and you shouldn't. And no. long but, term, that wasn't gonna work. But but it's always to I get think, us where we needed to be to support ourselves. Yeah, it's always going to be a struggle. It's always yeah. going to be a struggle, especially early on as you're trying to get things established. And you need to be okay struggling, and you got to be you got to find some satisfaction from the passion and okay. doing the work like like wow i you got to step back once in a while like wow i created this totally i'm doing this i'm doing the thing that i wanted to do right and look what i've created and look at the things i've done and look at the people i'm whatever you need to step back and see that once in a while to be like okay you know what i'm doing is you know, satisfying. It's valuable. It means it's, something yeah. to you. Yeah. yeah. And then hopefully that's to thing. others. And yeah, yeah. right. Right. And that's, I try to do that on a, on a regular basis. I try to step back and just go, okay, mm-hmm. you know, I've done this. This has been great. Here's this experience. I've been able to do this thing that I never thought I would get to do yeah. that. I never set out to do. And you know, here mm-hmm. it is. And then I start moving forward and you know, it's, it's, it's rewarding. It's not easy, but it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's an adventure, and I think the best thing you can do is if you have a passion for something, try it. There are so many other things that I tried to do before Chubster mm-hmm. that I thought were going to be the thing yep. that ended up not being the thing. Mm-hmm. And like you said earlier, it's not a failure. It's just learning. It's I learned that that wasn't the thing. And figuring out <laughs> what it, exactly yeah. what it is that you want to do. And if you do that and you try those things, that's yeah. all you can ask for. Yeah. And that is... And you can pull, you pull from those experiences. Here. Yeah, you pull yeah. from those experiences and you use them in what you're doing now. Totally. So, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that is, that's the abridged version of how we got here. Yeah. How to find your passion and do what you want to do. You just, so just do it. Like, they, would, like they say. The last thing, <laughs> the last thing that I would say, the last piece of advice that I would give is, um, is something that we always hear in one, one way or another. Uh, is that life is short and that you could die tomorrow. And if there's something that you want to try to do and you think, you know, you would regret not getting to have that opportunity or taking that opportunity to do it, don't wait anymore. Go Mm -hmm. out and do it. Try it. Uh, Do that thing. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be a captain of industry. You don't have to be the biggest whatever, you know, goat farmer, in your area, whatever, yeah. whatever it is, whatever your thing is, you just have to do it and find joy yeah. and find, uh, find, get something out of that. Mm-hmm. If you do that, you're in a good place. Yeah, I would definitely agree. All right. So, uh, on to our, our segment, uh, talking about what's up with, what's up with Bruce yeah. and Jody. What's so, up, what's up, Bruce? So, uh, the thing that I want to <laughs> share is, um, I have, I haven't had a whole whole lot of time to watch TV for the last uh, three or four months because of the tiny baby. But uh, tiny baby, yes. But now Uh starting to get a little bit of time, and uh, I have started watching um, the Righteous Gemstones on HBO. Oh, I don't know. It is. um, uh, It is so basically. It's about a family of um, televangelists. Oh, with John uh, Dan- Goodman. John Goodman oh, is yes, like yes, the, yes. the that father. Really good. Uh, Danny, it's by Danny McBride. Oh. Um, you know who uh, has been in so many different things. He yeah. Did, uh, what was the uh, Vice Principals on HBO? Also, and yeah. he's pounded down. Uh, the Righteous Gemstones <clears throat> is great. It's like uh, you don't really like any of the characters yeah, that's that great. much, but it's like a parts of it remind me of The Godfather. Hmm. Uh, it's got this kind of like uh, seedy underbelly sort of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's funny. It's so funny. And it, it's, 
it plays it so well. Uh, the seventh episode just came out, so I binged like the first five, mm-hmm. and then you know yeah, now I'm up. watching them in real time, which is something I haven't done in a long time. So, uh, but it's yeah, fun. that's always weird. It's weird now to go back to like having to wait. Yeah, every week or whatever. Yeah, um, another actor that is in that's on the show who who is amazing is Walton Goggins. Oh boy. Uh, you need you need to you, if you look if you look him up you'll, uh, yeah, you'll recognize him when you is, see yeah. okay. when you see his face but uh he plays he's basically John Goodman's brother-in-law. Okay. And uh he is running one of the churches and he's and they made him like much older and he's got this bright white hair and I mean it's phenomenal. It's just like it's like this deep south it's it's everything that I think about when I think about like living, it, like in Southwest Missouri. Oh right? yeah. for a long time, just that kind of I don't know. It, it feel it feels real. It feels real. Yeah, it's great, but it's it so funny. Really it's good. super entertaining. Uh, you know, it's it's got everything. It's got uh, they they just play it so well. They they do the the way that they handle the the actual job that they have um john goodman is really interesting in the role because i think he plays it a lot more straight and i mean he's still very competitive and it's still it's still a business and there's still that kind of darker side but the kids are just like super entitled and ridiculous and the first episode i mean it's it sets the tone in a crazy way it's uh it gets it gets uh kind of creepy fast and then kind of brings it back around so it is i would definitely recommend it i think it's a it's a fun show um i am excited to see where it goes and i hope that it gets many seasons yeah it looks really good i saw some ads for that um i have been playing a really weird game on our switch lately it's called die for valhalla oh it's some viking game it's a side scroller you know beat him up killer yeah. thing i don't know it's just a silly thing that bjorn likes to find these easier games for me that we can play like it's a two-person game that we can play together and beat the whatevers it's right. like i don't know you like kill all these weird characters and i don't know it's like you're saving your village for oh no it's like you're saving your village from the roman romans or something like that i don't hmm. know it's something very weird and i really enjoy it it's kind of a fun a fun game to do what it has like a it's like an easy one to jump into play yeah you don't have to jump like, out. i like you just you just hit the you know your sword or your bow and arrow or you get you do have a magical power there's you, a good description here if you oh, want to read oh, where or i can i can read yeah, this you can if, read it sorry die for valhalla is an action rpg where you hack slash and crush your enemies Possess and take full control of heroes, monsters, and other things to help Vikings save their realm. You are a Valkyrie, a supernatural maiden bestowed with the ability to possess fallen warriors. Yeah, yeah. Now that sounds awesome. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks it looks fun. I'm looking at the screenshots. Uh, okay, well there we go. And it's out for Switch. It's also on Steam. It looks like so. I know. I was like, yeah. I don't know what that is. I was just like, I don't Steam know is that for is. Uh, PCs. Okay, so, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. See, I, I'm I'm not as nerdy as. I don't know these things. I love I'm sorry. it. I just like to play them and they're easy. Yeah. It's fun to have games you can jump into. Yeah. We just play, you know, play a level yeah. and I'm done, you know, like, cause I don't, you know, I've been working a lot and yeah. he's doing all this comedy stuff. So after dinner we can play a level and be done and then go to bed or watch TV or Apple just launched Apple arcade. Oh yeah. You were telling me, about- which is ridiculous. It's so good. Don't, it's like, I don't think we could probably do that. We don't have a lot of Apple. Yeah. It's, stuff. um, it's five, $5 a month, I believe. And you get right now it's like access to a hundred games that are in, within this. And you just do $5 a month. You download whichever games you want and you play, you can play across your phone, iPad, your MacBook, your Apple TV. Okay. Um, and it's a lot of fun and they really curated it. So the games, run the spectrum i mean they're just like whatever you're into there's mm-hmm. a game well, yeah. for that and there it's not even just like okay so we put in a shooting game or we put in a puzzle game like mm-hmm. they really put thought into the design mm-hmm. of the games they put uh, into the content I, i'm super impressed with it and it's great, especially if you have children that want to get new games all, all the, the damn time. time. Yeah, they're like, ooh, this game. I want this You're game. You're paying five bucks a month, 
and there's a mm-hmm. ton of games to choose from. Yeah, and you get you get your I heard yeah. you 30 minutes of playing and yep. then you're done. Yep. <laughs> exactly. So it's good for them, it's yep. good for me. Yep. And uh, it's a it's a it's a household win for yes. sure. Good. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Well, we've done it. Uh, subscribe. Tell yes. your friends. Let us know what you think of our episodes. Yeah. Please share our um, content with your friends. At least one friend today, right now. Right. Share it. Tell them to check us out. And, you know, after now that this episode is over, it would be really cool to hear what what are the things that you're passionate about what's something that you've wanted to try and do that maybe you just you aren't there or you're trying to work on it maybe you're yeah. you're trucking along we'd love to know what it is and where you're at let us know and uh, maybe if it's something really cool we can talk about it here yeah, yeah. that sounds awesome yeah all right thanks bruce thanks jody bye, bye. Thanks for listening to Heavy Conversation. Be sure to like and subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Podcasts.